welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness where we will be taking the Canadian people and raise them to a high level of tolerance, um, ambition, greatness, and awesome healthcare. So um, one of the ways we're going to do that is when I can, I will initiate good healthcare. Yeah. Yeah. So, all jokes aside, um, this episode is mainly going to be centered on, um, well, a few things. One is, um, one is, um, I have a, this, I have a national focus I have to use, so I'm going to use that right now. And what I'm going to be encouraging is, is I want to still get some more, um, well, I have some motivation to my own phone there. But what I actually want to do is, is, um, what is it, get some, that is, right here, the current classroom, so that we can start doing more, um, we can start having more people in our capital, in Ontario and Quebec, you know, making more people, and so we can have more factories. Um, um, if you guys are wondering why I am speaking so lowly right now, it's because my mom's sleeping again, and I don't want to wake her up. So, you know, sorry about that, sorry about this, but, um, I was having difficulties recording and I was kind of having trouble deciding what I want to do because um, right now, right now as it stands, um, I would just, I want to go invade, I want to go invade a couple, I want to go invade Korea, China, and China. And I want to go invade Russia, Northern Alaska because somebody said go invade Alaska and I listen to my fans and when my fans say something, I will do it. So, you know, I was, you know, kind of in a flux about what I should do, and, you know, um, since I've never done a Canadian Let's Play before, and I'll be honest with you, this is my first time ever doing it, I'm kind of learning as I go, um, I kind of learned that we would not be ready for an attack on Russia, we would not be ready for an attack with Korea, and we would not be ready for an attack with the Chinese, so... What I decided was, is that I'm going to do, to keep this all interesting, keep you guys interested in the Canadian Polynesian Empire, um, or uh, really not Polynesian, the Canadian Pacific Empire, um, I thought it'd be very fitting if we go in and just go conquer a usual state, the Brunei, and since Brunei has a maximum of 12 soldiers, that's a perfect number for our, um, army of 20, so... That's where our next goal is going to be, is to go after Johor, justify conquest, establish protective. Um, okay, let's go. And my economy should be bouncing back at some point. There we go. And is it actually bouncing? Yes, it is. Um, I'll instantly pay my loans because loans really do cost you money and you don't want to have loans. So, anyways, oh, another thing I should be doing at this time is I'm going to be increasing relationships with the United States and I got 7.9 in Korea. Wow. That's going to be terrible when I try to go take any other place. But I guess that's sometimes what happens. You sometimes win some, you sometimes lose some. Anyways, um, when I'm, I have to, what I thought of is that, you know, just in case if the UK ever betrays me and if the UK never likes to help me out, I want to make sure I have a secondary alliance with the, with the second greatest power soon to be, second greatest power in the world, um, Yucatan, Yucatan, I don't really care about the Yucatan people, they can go do Yucatan stuff, because Yucatan isn't really, I mean, where is Yucatan, I actually want to know this, um, there's no way, there's no western territories, oh, this is Yucatan, this is a region right here, so, is it turning communist, no, really none of my places are really strong in any in fact, that's kind of weird. Why is no one strong in anything except for the United States, which has some really liberal and really conservative views? Oh, that's really, really weird. Okay, so we got the goal of annexation kind of early, but we got our troops already ready, so let us begin. Um, no, I'm just going to be ambitious and just drop them straight on the Johorian people's heads. Calling allies, why not? Let's see if the UK loves us enough to join our war against Johor, which is probably going to be the easiest war out of them all. And the UK have decided to join, join our war, so... Um, 
Jehovah thinks Jehovah thinks that it can take over Singapore and it doesn't really realize that it's probably setting itself up for a major couple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go send my own troops back to Malacca to just sit there and relax. And then I'm just gonna be oh shoot, I just had a major oh yeah, because we're at war doy. Oh yeah, huh. Yeah, that was kinda stupid of me. So classics we discovered. Um it's good that we see our people learning again. And let me just wait for a second. This seems like another quick conquest that we can easily do. Um yeah, it's really Jehovah is all I don't know why, but Jehovah is always just that nation that every single other let's player always goes after. And okay, I was about to say with two troops, I don't think Great Britain's gonna win. I'm gonna go crush Jehovah right now with my army. Gain some prestige with Great Britain. And yeah, okay. And now I'm gonna go conquer the rest of Jehovah. And, you know, claim the title of being Canada. It's one of the greatest things in the world. So, now that we have stronger alliance with Great Britain. Great Britain, I didn't actually expect to actually join the war. I thought they were going to cancel the alliance, so we would have to do other things. But, apparently Great Britain does really like us. So that's really good. But, I'm guessing the United States is the one winning the influence war. Yeah, Great Britain's not even concerned with us. The United States actually likes us. They're influencing us slowly, but I think the Great British are fighting back just a little bit. I guess maybe they do care, just a tiny bit, but we're like that unforgiven stepchild that they don't... We're like, we're like Cinderella in a sense. Um, we're probably the best person and probably the most responsible person out of every, every other like colony they ever had, but they don't really like to pay attention to us. Back to conservatives. Ooh. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, this is not... Oh shoot, I forgot this isn't lit all. Um, I forgot this wasn't my French Let's Play, but I support the, uh... In this one, we don't support the Conservatives. We support really realistic, liberal styles, but... I'm... Well, actually, we just support whatever is in popular demanding right now. And we have our sea power. We definitely want to achieve our sea power, so what we have to do is a total amount of ships, 30. Um... It will... Basically, this will make naval tech really good. Army tech division, uh, make a confluence and a cultural, uh, I just might want to, I might want to wait on that, because I just read that and it really did not sound like a good idea. Because it looks like if we decreased in our naval, uh, if we decreased in our culturally, cultural impact, then we would have a really serious problem with, like, fighting and stuff, so, I don't know if we should do that just yet. And, oh my goodness. The Siamese are like arming themselves against me, like saying, Oh, I'm gonna come kill you. And here comes Great Britain with their powerful army to come and stomp out the uh, British. And over here we have a. Uh, we have a little bit of taste of the French moving into uh, the, Nep the Diamonese people. And it kind of makes me wonder why aren't the. Uh, why aren't the Chinese fighting back? Because. Um, obviously, as you can see, there's this army idling about. Oh, it's not at war. Oh. How does... What? Huh. Local railing system. Yes, every... Okay, I... Oh, I needed that. That was actually really good because... Um, more of my places gain more railway. And that's actually really good because we have no real transcontinental railroad yet. I'm still trying to build that. And look at this. We still haven't even connected our land yet. Yeah. Not of money again, but hopefully that will help in our infrastructure ways. So, over here, back over here. The Canadian Red St No. What is this for? Yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with them because that's not even supposed to be there. And yep, now we have the Conquest of Johor. With that, we have, we have just reached 1 million, everyone. We have 1.6 million people, or actually 1.6 male people in our colonies now. Which, actually, the Malays now take over the third biggest population game we ever had. Which is still kind of sad, in my opinion. But, at least now, we have 1.0 million people. And, as it stands, um, France 
What? What did I do? Wait, what did I do? Uh, what? What? Wait, what did I do? Okay, this is completely unfair. Okay, good. Um, um, what? Um, what? Um, what? Okay, so, um, Great Britain decided, I mean, not Great Britain, um, the Russians decided to play war on me. Um, I, this is weird. I, I, I don't know what I did to make them mad. But they just, like, model con colony. Aw, Great Britain, really? Okay, but it, I, 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 I've never seen this happen before. I mean, I've, I mean, I've fought. This is, okay, so basically what we have to do is quickly go get to our new defense system, um, start mobilizing our men to include as many as we can. Um, okay, we're going to have to get our men back as quickly as possible and make sure they don't die by any any um, ambiguous men. Um, I'm hoping that Great Britain's army or navy will be able to keep the French and the Spanish off me for a little bit. I'm going to go on an offensive with the Russians for for Alaska. Um, I'm also going to like build a new army of soldiers because the war is probably going to last a little bit so we might as well get a big army. Let me get that. Okay. We need one more. Okay, one more of these guys. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we, yeah, this is this is completely shocking. Um, I don't know why the Russians would declare war on me. I mean, I'm not really that big, big of a power and to be honest with you, I'm not you know, it doesn't make honest, honestly any sense because, you know, colonially, I'm not a colonial power. I'm just as free in sovereignty as the United States of A. And, you know, I'm I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be easily put down. Let me just put it that way. Okay, and so now I'm going to watch the voyage of my ship. Hoping... Oh, wait. It's not, not the United States. Whoops. I was reflexive. Glad. Reflexive. Okay, I'm going to watch my ship for a little bit. I want to make sure that just in case if we see any type of evil ships come after me, we'll try to escape. Okay. And we're taking all of our hard-earned money. We're taking our just recent conquest and turning in... This, this is... I don't know. This is, this is something I did not prepare for in any of my scenarios. But this could be seen as good or bad depending on how well the war goes. Um, I, I won't say anything about it until... How, until I see how the war goes. Um, so far they're conquering just a little bit of ours. I think, I think I'm getting kind of lucky because um, the Great British are like fighting. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go put some soldiers over here. But I'm pretty sure the Great British are like using their fleets. Yeah, the British are using their fleets to keep to keep the French at bay, and the French are more concentrated on the British than they are on me. So it, this is this is seriously helping. Um, it's kind of scary at the same time, and my ships have almost made it back. Um, that's really good. Um, okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna be. No, I better not be ambitious, because that's like because they don't have enough men to fight by themselves. Okay, boom. We lost the men during that conquest of Johor, which is sad to say, but it just what happened. Okay, so we got this whole House of Congress thing going. And Leton, yeah, war between Canada. I, 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 I don't know what I did to Canada. I honestly don't. I don't remember ever making them mad in any way. Like at least in this let's play, I don't think I made them mad. Okay, so we have some really rocky terrain here. How much does rocks give us? Um, nutrition. Nutrition's really bad. Combat width, really good. Um. What I'm going to do is, is my soldiers still moving? Yeah, my soldiers take a really long time. So, my 27,000 are moving over there. So, what are these guys? They're all moving upwards to go help. Send an ex expedition. Um, they're all moving upwards to go help. And right now, we're just trying to defend ourselves. Um, quiet state. An attempt to quiet state against us? What? Wait, what? Okay, this is, this is getting out of hand. I mean, I mean, honestly, what, okay, that makes no sense, that makes no sense, they, we were just being influenced by, okay, no, 
The scouts I hope they're going to take the bait. No, they're not going to take the bait. But I think I'll arrive there. Yeah, I'll arrive here after them. So I can at least start mopping up some of them. Okay, so... Okay, so America's going after me now. I, I don't know why. I don't know what I did to make America mad, but apparently America's now mad at me. Um... Yeah, I don't... I didn't go through with my original idea of taking this part of America, so I don't know why they would want to kill me. Oh, sorry people, I'm just in gas about what's happening here. We're like being... We're like being con destroyed left and right. We just did one little colonial conquest, and all of a sudden, we have like 40 different people on us. Um, at the same time though, I want to kind of add a war goal <laughs> against Russia so I can acquire Alaska and, you know, take some territory from them, you know, because at this point, they know they're not winning the war, and I have my men, you know, I'll still, I'll keep doing it until it's, until it prospers something, but, um, right now we have a big gigantic battle right there happening, um, like I thought, my the narrowness, mindedness of the mountains are protecting me. It's helping me out a lot. I'm actually winning the battle a, a lot. Um, okay, we need to get some army decision making. Um, okay, yeah, we we won the battle. Okay, does that give us enough to like start adding war goals? Dang. Maybe we can't add war goals because we're not the leader. I never thought of that. Okay. Let's go. Let's start taking back some of my territory. And, oh my goodness, I can't even, I can't even imagine America declaring war on me. I don't know what I did. I, like, just entered this game and I'm already, like, I'm already, like, getting fought off by, like, 14 different people. What did I do? I'm like, all I did was try to be send a, send a Canadian expedition. Just basically who runs out of money first. Okay, that's definitely not where they were going. I think they're going to like attrition or somewhere else, but I don't really care. They're tall. Okay, um... We're still winning though, in the, in the overall sense of the word. We're still winning. Um, but this is bad. America wants to seriously fight me. Maybe I keep increasing relations. They won't want to do it. They won't want to go through with it. Oh, well, they just got a big boost to their... Cause it's belly against me. Maybe, um, I don't know. Have you, I've never, sometimes great powers like to say peace. I mean, I don't, oh, seriously, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Alright, I'm, I know the great British is not going to be any of help to me if the United States, whatever the United States want. Wait, what do they even want? Let's get that out of the way first. Acquire a state of what? Like, what do you guys want from me? I'm a tiny nation still just trying to get its bearings in the world, and... Oh. This is complete another... Take over Alaska, please. For me. Okay. You guys charge the dead. Okay, um, seems as, yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna hope that maybe good relationships will help keep it because they don't have a core on me. They don't, and I don't know why. I don't know why they would want to do this. I mean, I know America's expansionist, but seriously, why would you expand into Canada? It'd be much better to expand into Mexico. No, I'm, I'm sorry for this, but maybe it's better to expand in Mexico. They actually have resources. We barely have timber. We have like a maximum of timber. That's all we have really. And I hate to be honest, but that's really what all we have. Um Union Wrestling. Um or whatever. You know, we're not inviting this. Okay, well here comes a moment of truth for America to kill war me. I'm hoping that the diplomatic relations thing will help me out, but I'm not sure it will. Uh, 
Can I do it? It takes a couple days. We'll wait by the end of the year and we'll see. No, I think I think America's actually I think I did it. I, I think they're morally obligated not to declare war on me because I got my relationship too high. Yay! Hopefully, I hope that's what happened. If not, we are seriously dead. I'm, I'm, I'm literally not kidding you people. I would have to declare peace because there's no way I would win this. I would seriously lose this and... I mean, look at those troops. Look at those scary troops. Okay, we have to make sure America's diplomacy does not drop below anything because they scare me now. We do not have the army yet to do anything. We're still just the Tom Som. We're still just a thriving nation in a new world dealing with our own problems. Um, hopefully, though, know, maybe I'll be able to get Alaska out of this. Um, I'm waiting for war. When am I be able to add a war goal, seriously? Um, uh, well, it's going pretty good considering that none of these guys expected us to win this. Okay. Moving on to the next place. Just keep moving. Okay, just keep moving. We have a okay size army over here. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I got my relationships up just before they, did, they could do that. that. That was so lucky, like, really so lucky. Oh my goodness. All I, all I did was just try to conquer Jehovah, and all of a sudden I'm getting, like, flagged left and right by different nations. That's, oh my goodness. Do whatever we can. Every life is precious. I do believe. And since we're definitely in Canada and we care about our population, we definitely care about these epidemics in our place. Let's see, okay, so we got that. Move up there. Another one of you guys move up there. And you guys, since you guys are tiny on you guys move up to Fairfax. We're gonna take a last day. Um This will cost us, okay, it's not the infamy, okay, just making sure. Um, and we're definitely winning, and when does that cost us belly on us expire, exactly? Yeah, when does that expire? Hopefully sometime soon. Otherwise, we are definitely not going to live. And I honestly do believe that. Um, another rush, oh, the Russians are still alive down there. Huh. I killed him. I need to be a little bit more effective next time in killing my Russians. But let me just conquer the rest of um, this Russian land. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I guess France and them are definitely not wanting to commit. Definitely not wanting to admit defeat. Especially from a low life, like a low life power like me. I mean, I'm definitely not one of the most prestigious and most known nations out there but if I can get if I will be known as the first nation to beat Russia and France at the same time with of course help from Great Britain I think that would seriously help my prestige in terms of recruiting and how much people would respect the Canadian power granted my Canadian power is more based on um, how much I cannot die and how much things are happening to me, which, how's my population doing in terms of immigration, immigration, how are we doing compared to America? Uh, we have slightly more than America, that's good. And how much is migrating? Montreal is definitely achieving a lot and, um, how's the population doing? Um, it's doing good, like, Montreal is now almost 100k people. And yeah, a lot of these places are starting to really shape up into big, gigantic places, at least for Canada. And I'm not even gonna worry about those forces. Over there. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Okay. We're gonna take out the rest of these, these stupid Russian lands. Make the Alaskan people of Russia feel our might. We just have to hope that 
that before this war ends, that the UK will seriously love. Okay, so we got that. Okay, we got that. Okay. We have to seriously wait to, to the last night to make sure that Great Britain will love. Will love to defend us. Okay. We have that. Um, okay, this is, this is seriously really scary. But not, it's, the shock's starting to wear off after a little bit. It's starting to feel a little bit more and more safe as I kind of think of this situation. With us and the Great British now starting to win this war, it's looking more and more like, um, Russia's, Russia's definitely being defeated. Um, I wish I could add something against them, but, um, right now we don't even, oh, Okay, so, uh, do I have enough infamy? 10 infamy. This would set back my plans, but this is for a fan. And a fan told me to do this, so, for that fan, boom. We're going to take over Alaska. Okay. Hopefully, UK will not get out of this war now, but continue to fight and I took a lot of big infamy and due to that time to sign a Geneva Convention because now is a good time to sign it because just to give us a little bit more of a gap of infamy okay and now that we have that um, how's that little troop <laughs> yeah they're never gonna be able to come to my land even in a hundred years okay so we're gonna go right there well, there's some little islands over here in Alaska that we're going to need to take over before we completely do a thing. But wow, this Let's Play just got like a lot more action-packed. I didn't expect like any of this to happen. Like any of it. This was... Wow. Okay, so you guys go under here. Okay, this is going to be really this is gonna be really stressful. We're going to have to do this really quickly without any of these Russian dudes helping us. Um... Okay, okay, we have no Russians near us. Go on, go on to the islands. Huh? Okay, well, get on to the ship. I mean, get on to those islands. And then, okay, let me make sure. Okay, so we had some difficulties. Um, I would guess so. Wait, what? Hmm. That's very weird. Okay, so apparently... Okay, so my troops just magically disappeared. Um, these are not the ones I need. These are not the ones I need. These are the ones I need. Okay, well, apparently, so that's a little bit bugged. Um, where are the last locations I need to get in Alaska? Well, I, I think I have it all. Honestly. Yeah. We've won a good majority of the battles. And I don't think... Yeah, they haven't invaded us at all because of probably um, interference by... Let's go to the Berlin Strait and see what we can do there. This is really going to be tenuous waters. This is right next to Russia, but I'm going to see if I can land my troops here. No, I'm not trying to land right there. I'm trying to land... Oh, that is Conquered. Oh, shoot, then get my men back in. Well, could we... No, we cannot pull off an invasion of Russia. Are you kidding me? But what we should do is go send our men to Vancouver to go kill off that one soldier. Maybe that will be the last soldier that's needed to die. And we should have reached our goal. I mean, it was pretty how fortunate. Um, yeah, we got 100% fulfilled in our goal of conquering Alaska. Um, this is this is kind of exciting. This is really exciting. Um, I know it doesn't sound like I'm excited, but I'm really excited the fact that we can do this. Um, let me just go next to these troops, kill them. Um, this could potentially put us and really okay did that change anything yes it did it just like gave us a little bit more advantage okay let me put my men back on my ship 
Where should I go? Um, I could try to do something bold, like take over some of Russia, but I don't know how well it's actually going to reply to the Russians. Eh, you live once, so... And, you know what? Actually, you know what we should do? Just to try to verify this, is... Um, right now, we have the... Okay, we're definitely reaching past our war goal. I'm hoping the UK won't add their own, because if they have their own, then mine is probably not going to be accomplished. Okay, I'm gonna go, we're just going to check out our competition, and they wait, no wait, 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 go back here, we're gonna split up our army first, that way we don't lose any of our good troops, and before I say anything, oh my goodness people, we just won! Oh my goodness, Canada! Look at that! Oh my goodness, we did it! So, wait, is this officially now Canada? Yes, this is officially Canada! Okay, so guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys love to see Canada expand into Alaska and expand into Johor. Actually, that might be last episode because this was a pretty long episode and I might have to split it. But, this was interesting nonetheless. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And, I'll see you guys next time.